Hey guys, it's PMHK here, obviously, and we know that back to school is around the corner, at least for university students and college students, because I know the high school kids have already gone back to school since the beginning of January, unfortunately for them. But now, this video is mainly for university and uh, college students who might actually be closer or be able to afford most of the stuff I have it here. But if you guys have a problem with that just let me know down in the description and i'm gonna maybe try and find more affordable versions of whatever i have here on the table now some of the items that i have here on the table are actually the items that i recommend for people that are actually going back to school and are actually looking for things to buy that's going to either a supplement or just make maybe their life at probably dorm or by the residence much easier this is if you actually are staying away from home and these are some of the devices that i'm actually recommending it to you guys for you guys to actually go and buy now we're gonna start from the smallest item to the biggest item here on the table now the first item here on the table is a bluetooth speaker now if you are familiar to my channel or if you've been subscribed to my channel you know that this is one of the speakers that i've actually been using for a while and is actually one of the speakers that i bluetooth speakers that i actually recommend if you're looking for an affordable bluetooth speaker that's actually going to be uh, loud enough uh, for you guys to actually have it with you guys now this thing is the anchor sound core nano this is as i mentioned a bluetooth speaker that is for the size and for the price is actually something that you guys should actually look into now i've had this guy for almost a, a year now and i must say it actually has impressed me uh thus far now this is the sound core nano by anchor following uh the bluetooth speaker is is the google home uh, mini now this is a smart speaker that you can actually also buy uh in conjunction with this guy here because you can actually also output the sound from this guy to this guy via either uh, a cable or via bluetooth actually doesn't have a cable this guy will actually help you start with home automation you can actually set uh, the google home app and set this guy up to actually work with smart lights and other smart uh, devices now i've also reviewed the alexa mini before on the channel but um actually this is the one that i recommend because the alexa mini you still need to find a way to create an american account uh for you to be able to download the alexa app which is not available on the south african app store so this is the one i actually recommend and for the price right now that's going for you guys are actually gonna love it now moving right to the left hand side of the table we have these uh, security camera here now this security camera is the wise cam 1080p now this guy will allow you for let's say if you living in a dorm it will allow you actually to survey uh, your room if in case you're actually skeptical about the place that you're staying and you can just keep that security tidy now this guy will allow you to record in 1080p as i mentioned and it also has two-way audio communication and you can actually insert a little sd card in the bottom for you to record the footage actually that records in uh, the room and is going to store in the sd card that goes right under here which is actually a really good feature and you can actually go uh, back in time and see what happened on the previous day using the app that you're gonna have to install on your mobile device and now i've reviewed most of the items that i have here on the table and i'm going to try and link them down below if you're actually looking to specific reviews of this device but i actually also recommend uh this guy because also for the size and the price you can actually put it in a corner where nobody will see it and it's not really going to break uh, the bank now moving on we have a power bank now most of us actually need a power bank i actually ran out of battery this morning when i was at the dentist with my brother waiting for him to finish with it took almost two hours and since i was scrolling on instagram the battery went out and i actually had left my bank power bank at home but this guy here is a me power bank but you guys can actually go buy any power bank i'm going to try and recommend a couple down in uh, the description and you can actually press that like button when you make your way down there now this is the me power bank this is a 10 million power bank that comes with a one usb port and you have micro usb here which is the port that you're going to use to charge the power bank there isn't much uh to say about this guy has good build quality close uh to this guy here they both are made out of metal i don't know if this is aluminum uh, but they both made out of a, uh, a good material sturdy and it's actually going to last you very long if you 
decide that you're going to go uh, with this guy now some of the other brands that i would actually recommend just out of my head would be an anchor power bank or a rev power power bank or even an Oki power bank if you're looking for a power bank as well as aromos which is one of the other power banks that i have uh here at home now moving this side i have this uh just something that uh actually was given to me it was bought at typo now if you are a marvel fan this is something that you can actually look into buy now this is a notebook which you can use to make uh notes if you're somebody who gets uh ideas uh, out of random places like i do you can just write it down there's actually a different feel about writing things down than actually typing them sometimes i actually prefer writing them down than typing them on the phone so on this side you have the nintendo switch this is the first nintendo switch that was uh, ever released i know after this there was another version released with uh, a better battery management or if better battery at all and then you have the switch Lite, which just came out uh, this which came out last year but this is the one that i've been uh, using i didn't find any need to buy any of the other ones because i didn't see much change on those ones although the price is a little bit lower so if you guys think this one is a bit expensive you can always actually think of the other one now this guy will help you when you are passing time or maybe when you don't have classes in between if you are in university or if you are in college you can always grab a dedicated console for you to play games on now this the last game i was playing on this device which i actually managed to finish is uh bro force which is actually a game uh, developed by south africans developers so this is something that you actually if you're looking for games to play on a nintendo switch this is actually something that you should go and uh, consider and for the price i mean 50 bucks are uh, you really going to enjoy this game last but not least is the ipad pro 11 inch that i have here with me i've actually made a video comparing this guy to his bigger brother which is actually now sitting on maybe 30,000 views depending on when you're watching this video but this is something that i actually would recommend if you're looking into buying a tablet and money is not an issue now this guy is the ipad pro 11 inch which was released uh a year back exactly if i'm not mistaken now some of the features that i actually love about this ipad is the 20 hertz display that it comes with uh, which actually uh, you guys cannot see right here just in camera but if you actually play around with one which you can actually do at any apple store just go there and see uh, what it feels like to navigate on 120 hertz display which actually most of the devices this year are actually gonna migrate to this it's really really smooth and the experience is none like anything you've actually have experienced before other things that i actually love about this would be uh the camera it actually has a really good camera quality it has a similar camera as the iphone xr which up to now also it has a really good camera and now with the new ios it supports playstation and xbox remote control which you can actually connect it and actually play games if you really don't want to buy an ipad and also buy a dedicated console for you to play games while you're passing time and when you combine it with an apple pencil actually you're even gonna enjoy it even better because you can actually use it to sketch and actually type note while you're in a class so you can take note or write with the pencil or if you're somebody that draws you can actually use other apps to actually go and draw on the tablet now this will be it for this video make sure you give this video a like if you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed to the channel make sure you also click that notification bells button so you can get notified whenever i upload a video and i'm gonna catch you guys on my next video peace